The cemetery in Cheltenham has been open for about around 150 years and the beautiful listed chapels there have been providing a valuable service to local residents for generations. But in recent times, it's become apparent that there were difficulties with the cremators. That presented the council with a question, whether to simply replace the cremators or whether to do something more ambitious. So we commenced a large consultation with local residents in Cheltenham asking what they thought. I'm glad to say that the people of Cheltenham support our ambitious plan for a new crematorium here in Cheltenham. I think um, critical to the success of this project has been the amount of planning that went in up front. Another critical success factor is, is obviously the people involved in, in delivery. The relationship with the customer has been really important to Wilmot Dixon. It's one that we've nurtured throughout the whole process. Uh, they've been a key decision maker in the project, ensuring that the finish is spot on. We've worked closely with uh, local architects Robert Slimbrick to create a building which fits very well into what is a, a very sensitive and beautiful local landscape. In terms of materials, we've tried to use local materials including Cotswold stone. Some of the key challenges that we faced during the project related to ecology on site. We had um, difficulties with a very large badger set. We also had uh, issues with bats, reptiles and uh, some Roman artefacts including a bag of coins. We were keen to ensure that the new development had good environmental credentials. So in addition to things that uh, by law people are looking for like mercury abatement, the cremation plant provides heat which heats the chapel buildings. We also have put uh, quite a lot of effort into the landscaping of the site. Right from the start, the design and the build of the new crematorium, all the funeral directors in Cheltenham and the surrounding area have been consulted with regards to how it should look, how the economics should flow. What our families want now is a funeral that is more personalised, interactive with music, readings and video. The new facilities will not only meet those new requirements, but will also extend those new requirements. I'm looking forward to going to our families, being able to show them exactly what Cheltenham's new crematorium will indeed offer. I'm well aware just how important the cemetery and crematorium is to the people of Cheltenham. It has been for generations gone by and will be for generations to come. That's why this project was so important to me and all of the staff here at Cheltenham Borough Council. We hope that we have delivered a new facility that residents in Cheltenham now and in the future can be rightly proud of.